If you're interested in going vegan or even just trying a partial vegan diet, watch this whole video. I'm gonna show you a few easy steps and just go through the basics of what you need to know. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mona and today's video is all about how to go vegan. So this video has been pretty highly requested. I feel like um, it's something you guys have asked me about a lot. Um, if there's resources, a lot of my videos are kind of more specific on like a recipe or a drink or like one replacement. But today I kind of want to go through just the basics all around. So first I want to go through some mental concepts and little things that I think will really help you emotionally, physically, so it doesn't feel so drastic when you're trying to make the switch. And then I want to go through meal delivery services, different options that are out there, and my personal favorite one, which is Daily Harvest. I'm going to go through two examples of like a breakfast and dinner and get into those details. The next thing I want to do is go through some really great snack replacements and certain strategies you can do when you're eating your meals that will also make it easier and not feel like such a big change. So the first thing I recommend you doing is figuring out why you want to go vegan. You probably know there's probably an initial reason that sparked your interest, but this has to be very clear to you and you have to constantly remember it. There's really three main reasons people go vegan. One of them is for health. One is for animals, the love of animals. and The other is environmental. Sometimes you start with one and then you kind of learn about the other two and realize that what you're doing is good to all of it. So you end up liking all the reasons, but usually there's like that one driving factor or force that really drives you. I would recommend writing it down, journaling it, thinking about it. That way, every time you feel like it might be a little bit difficult, instead you're thinking about, okay, this is what I'm doing and what I'm helping and like this is what I'm contributing to. My initial reason to go plant-based was for health. Like I've mentioned this before, my brother was actually having some cardiac issues and his cardiologist told him that he had to go vegan. So I wanted to do it to be supportive and I told my whole family we should all do it. You know, it's not nice if we're having dinner as in, you know, he can't eat some of the same stuff we're eating. Then I just loved it. So I always knew my initial drive and I was really just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I loved every other reason too. Okay, so if you're brand new to this, or even if you're trying to get your partner, your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, family member to go plant-based, really focus on adding versus taking away. So this is huge. If you all of a sudden change this whole plate or even kind of give you know someone the mindset that you cannot eat this, you can't eat this, you can't eat this, it's gonna be really hard. So I would recommend adding more veggies, more greens, more legumes, different things that you know you can experiment with that can get you used to vegan foods and you can see, oh, this is such an easy replacement. In the morning, I'd recommend even starting with a green smoothie or green juice and then going on to your breakfast. So add before you subtract and then once you get used to those flavors, it won't be so foreign to you. The next thing is not to make it too complicated. So I think a lot of times people think that when you go vegan, you have to learn how to make like a vegan lentil loaf with, you know, who knows, like, or like this big vegan lasagna and make your own vegan cheese. You don't have to get that complicated with it. You can just take simple foods. Think of little things you can do to make it more simple and not have to make some like big complicated meal. Okay, so now let's get to food delivery services. I wanted to give an option for those of you who don't like to cook or maybe are too busy or just you know yourself and if it's something that you know you're not going to do and it's stopping you from going vegan, I think looking into a meal delivery service is super smart. One of the biggest reasons I love Daily Harvest is because of the quality of ingredients. It's super clean, no preservatives, no high amount of sodium. They're honestly just as if you're cooking a meal at home yourself. The other thing I like is that it's very convenient. Obviously, we want convenience delivered right to your door. They all come frozen so that you know they're going to stay good. It's basically like a home-cooked meal that comes frozen. I also like that there's variety. I feel like with meal services in general, you've probably heard me say this in other videos, I don't like that you um, don't get to choose what you're going to eat. Like You're forced to eat certain things every day, which is not fun. I don't think anyone wants to do that. You can go on and literally choose the foods that you want included. Like I like Brussels sprouts, I like cacao, I like cherries, whatever you want. Then their chefs will literally create these like custom, like special meals for you. They all come pre-portioned. You've got smoothies that you literally just put into the blender and add water. Um, there's like harvest bowls and oat bowls, things that you can literally just throw onto the stove and heat up. Depending on um, you know what the meal is, you might have to add like a little bit of water or broth so it doesn't like burn on the pan, but it's really simple and basic. You could also obviously microwave these. I'm personally trying to stop using the microwave as much. I'm trying to kind of just heat things up on the stove so it's healthier and cleaner, but you do have that option. Obviously, if you're in a rush, like sometimes it's easier to just microwave something. So 
I want to kind of show you examples of how to make a smoothie and how to heat up a meal and show you how quick and easy it can be. This one's a harvest bowl. It's sweet potato and wild rice hash. So it tells you in the back the ingredients. It also tells you exactly what to do in the back. Empty cup into a pan, stir over medium high heat, four to six minutes until thoroughly cooked. Add one to two tablespoons of water or broth if needed. So basically heat it, add a tablespoon of water if you need to. So if you look inside here, you can see it looks like you just cooked food and froze it. That's kind of, I feel like the premise to this. This is actually gonna be my lunch today. So I'm excited. And I'll take a little bit of my water. Put that on medium heat. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the smoothie. So this one that I have is acai cherry and the ingredients are cherries, blueberries, banana, raspberry, acai, and kale. So it tells you in the back, choose your liquid base. We, and they even recommend, we'd go with a light option like coconut water. Fill cup to top with liquid and toss it all into a blender. And then you blend and pour everything back into your cup. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to dirty a cup. I'm a big fan of using water and smoothies. I think more people should try it because it sounds like it would make the smoothie watery. But as you know from my green smoothie, which you guys all love, it does not make it watery at all. So now I'm just gonna put all of this into the blender. Oh, I love cherries and I never put cherries in smoothies. I should do this more. I feel like taking the pit out is a little bit annoying when you want to make a smoothie quickly, but I like that they do that for you. Yum. Oh my God. It's so good. It tastes like fresh raspberries and cherries, which is exactly what it is. Actually what I like, the banana is very light. I think that when you order smoothies out a lot, they really overdo it on banana. I always recommend asking. Sometimes if you don't check, they'll put like two or three bananas, which is a bit heavy. Um, this one's really light. Like it's a little more of like a liquidy smoothie. Although you could put a little less water and have it be thicker. So that's totally your preference. All right, so this is now heated up. This little bowl that you can just eat right out of, I think is so cute. The prices on this are so affordable, much less than you would spend if you were like ordering out. So if you find yourself ordering out at work a lot or even just at home, this is going to be a more affordable option, especially if you get on like one of their like plans. This is a bit hot, but I'm going to try to take a little bite. I love that there's avocado in this. Mmm. I think it's so important to eat more warm grounding foods and warm meals because I think a huge misconception of going to a vegan plant-based diet is it's only salads, it's only cold food, it's only raw food. Um, in fact, our bodies digest warm foods so much more the more we cook them. Yes, you're losing some nutrients, but you're actually digesting it better. So I almost like have a bit of a debate with that or like which one's healthier. I think that both are good to add in. So adding in warm comfort foods will make you feel still satiated. So if you guys want to try out Daily Harvest, use code Dr. Mona Van for $25 off your first box. Lastly, I want to talk about replacements. Believe it or not, snacks are actually the easiest replacement versus like trying to replace a piece of fish or a piece of steak. Even if you're not vegan, you would probably, I mean, you'd most likely enjoy these anyway. If you don't have a health food store near you, you can get them online. Like I like Thrive Market. You can get them on Amazon, whatever you want. So here are a few of my favorite brands. This one I actually recently discovered. This is called so Sonyar. Please don't mind my accent. Um, grain, these are not only uh, vegan, but they're grain free. So there's lots of grain free, like vegan nacho. Siete, I'm sure you've heard me talk about in my other videos. I love this brand. They have a bunch of amazing vegan chips. They've got nacho, ranch, lime. This is my favorite brand of popcorn. I love this Buddha bowl. They have this one that's a butter flavored. Not only do they have other popcorn that's just like coconut oil or whatever they have, but this one's actually butter flavored. It's really amazing and it tastes just like butter. So you can try this one. I'd actually really encourage you to look at the back of so many different brands of Doritos, chips, crackers, things that you never think have dairy in them actually do. Um, salt and vinegar chips have like a milk product in them. Uh, barbecue chips have milk product. There's so many that you wouldn't think, even, I mean ranch, I don't know, they all do. So. Even just trying to make the switch over could be an easy one and they're all really amazing snacks. Now I wanna go through some of like the basics replacements, that makes sense. Like 
things you want to cook with every day or things you eat with every day, not just like snacky foods. Purposely for this video, didn't want to grocery shop and buy a bunch of things because I was like, let me keep it really authentic and what do I actually have in my fridge, in my cabinet right now? This is what I've got. So coconut oil and coconut butter. I actually love both of these. Coconut oil is so amazing to like coat the pan when you're cooking pancakes. Um, anything like that because it takes the taste of that coconut and actually makes them a little bit sweeter so that's really amazing coconut butter is a little bit thicker so you can use this like almost as a replacement um, in cookies and batters and different things you can add a little bit of this to oatmeal I honestly I'm not the best baker like I've said or chef but whenever I'm making a recipe and it calls for butter I literally just replace it with coconut oil to me they taste fine I'm sure there's like an exact way to replace it but I prefer these to like the vegan butters, like the vegan margarine, just because I think if you're gonna go, maybe to try to keep it a little bit cleaner. If that's what you need to resort to at first, that's okay. But you know, long term, I like to kind of stick to these. This is one brand of vegan cheese I really like. This is Miyoko's. There's also another, like other amazing brands that taste great. Like Chow cheese tastes really great. It does have tofu in it. Um, Kite Hill is a brand I really like. I just ran out, so I have Miyoko's right here, but. I'll make a whole master list in the description, which I know sometimes I forget to add links in descriptions, but I will not for this one. Nutritional yeast, cannot live without this product. I use it all the time. I sprinkle it on popcorn, I sprinkle it on pasta. I use it for any kind of like cheesy flavor. I put it on my salad. I just love the taste of it. It's a great cheese replacement and most plant-based eaters like have this in their kitchen to use. The one by Bragg is also fortified with vitamin B and like kind of a B complex. So it does give you a little dose of B vitamins, which is pretty cool. An egg replacement. Chia seeds are a necessity to have in the kitchen. Um, anytime you're baking, if you have to replace an egg, you can make a chia egg. You can also do this with flax, but I prefer it with chia seed. So basically one tablespoon of chia seed, three tablespoons of water, and that will be your vegan egg. So this is super easy. You let it sit for like five minutes. It kind of gets like a jelly, like a thicker substance, and then it binds whatever you're baking with. And the cool thing about these is they also expand in your stomach and they keep you full. They're full of fiber. Um, they hold a lot of water, so it's a great one to have. If you're making the full switch to vegan, you have to make sure you're getting enough nutrients, you're getting enough calories, at least equivalent to what you were eating so that you don't feel such a drastic change. So if you normally in the day maybe snack on like chips, but you're normally eating meat, so you're getting like maybe higher calorie, higher fat, I would switch out your snacks for something more nutrient dense, like raw walnuts, raw almonds. You can get so much nutrition in just a handful of these. I mean, if you look on the back, they have a good amount of calories and fat for a small serving. You could have as much or as little as you want, depending on what your diet calls for, but just making sure to pack in the nutrients and whatever you're eating. If you follow me on Instagram, I post this probably every day in my stories. I love this brand of almond milk. Um, this one you can't get online, so you have to get it at a health food store. Maybe you can get online, but it comes refrigerated. Um, it's just pure almond milk. There's no fillers, there's no gum, so I really like this. But honestly, milk is one of the easiest. There's coconut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, cashew milk, pecan milk. I'll list a few um, alternatives below. And if you really crave that like creamy Caesar dressing or creamy ranch dressing, this brand, Follow Your Heart, has amazing options. Um, this vegan Caesar is like one of my favorite things in the world, but they've got so many different ones and you can kind of add this in. So you don't feel like you're just going to, you know, lemon and olive oil and vinegar and just vegetables. Like I just want you guys to know, trying to make the switch to plant-based does not have to be lettuce with no salad dressing and only vegetables and like no snacks you can still get all that same like satiating stuff that you are used to i'm also going to list a few books below this video i know a lot of you guys have been asking me book recommendations so i will do that i personally didn't use a book when i went vegan so it's hard for me to recommend my own but i am going to reach out to some of my friends um you know other vegans i know and see what's really helped them so i can give you guys a good list of recommendations if you have any questions on anything in this video, please let me know. Um, I will list links to everything below the video. If you want me to elaborate on this topic, let me know. This is kind of a little intro into going vegan. Again, even if you don't want to fully go vegan and you just kind of want to experiment with a partial vegan diet, like that's kind of what I recommend starting with anyway, then I think you could find this video really helpful. 
So if you guys want to try out Daily Harvest, use code Dr. Monavan for $25 off your first box. I'll link all of these products and the discount code in my description. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.